Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown is on Charlie Red. So if you'd like to hear prices, notes, hear my review of this very nostalgic fragrance, then please keep on watching. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, bookmark my page. I upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like. So I did purchase this Charlie Red on Amazon. I got a 3.33 ounce bottle for $5.17. I will leave an affiliate link down below if you'd like to purchase through there. By no means you don't have to, okay? So guys, this fragrance launched in 1993. I was eight years old, okay? It's been around for a while, okay? I love that an older fragrance can still be going strong, okay? So guys, um, like I said, this is a 3.33 ounce bottle. Cheapest is on Amazon, but they do have it on Walgreens for $8.28, okay, and also on Walmart.com for $12.08. Um, so either place that you get it, wherever you get it, it's still going to be an under $20, okay, and guys, it is a huge bottle. I love the packaging. It's just clean, and it's just it's just a beautiful packaging. Okay, let's get into what we really care about, and let's get into notes, okay? So guys, it does have top notes of orange blossom, um, gardenia, plum, black currant, violet, and peach. So guys, very fruity, very floral top notes, okay? Mid notes, it has carnation, tuberose, orchid, jasmine, elang elang, lily of the valley, and rose. So once again, guys, we have a ton of flowers, okay? The carnation, the tuberose, the lily of the valley, very florally mid-notes. And guys, finally, we have the base notes, okay? And this kind of anchors down, ties down a fragrance, okay? So we have honey, sandalwood, cedar, musk, and amber. So once again, guys, we have a very florally fruity top and mid-notes, and then guys, finally, those base notes kind of make the fragrance more wearable. If you have a lot of notes that are all kind of the same, very sweet, very florally, it can kind of sometimes be an overwhelming fragrance to wear because that's all you're smelling is that sweetness, okay? But the guys with those base notes of the amber, the sandalwood, the cedar, it's gonna help tie it down, make it a little bit more wearable for a lot of people. So let's go ahead and great mister, guys. No problem with the mister at all, okay? So guys, um, I've been using this fragrance for about almost two weeks, and as you guys can see, I've barely used any, so a little bit does go a very long way. It is a, it's an eau de toilette, so it's not as high quality, it doesn't have as much oil as a traditional perfume. It still has a lot more alcohol than oil, but I have noticed it is very long lasting still. I notice it starts to fade about the six hour mark, so you know, you could definitely take this with you if you would like. You could also just put on a little bit of Vaseline or use a fragrance lock um, to make sure that it's going to last a little bit longer, but I do notice it does have great lasting power. Oh my gosh, guys, this fragrance is amazing. First thing that I'm smelling right away is the jasmine and the orchid, okay? A little bit of that musk and ambers coming through. But guys, to me, this is like a perfect springtime fragrance. It is amazing. absolutely love it where it does have those a lot, a ton of florals and a little bit of fruit, okay? Makes it very light, very sweet, very spring and summer. But like I said, with those base notes, it makes it a lot more wearable, okay? I don't like just a straight sweet perfume. It's too much for me, I just don't like it. The type of person I see wearing this is that they're in a cute spring or summer attire, like a like a woman in a sundress, maybe you're going to a bar, maybe going to a restaurant, maybe you're just even going to work. It's just such a flirty, beautiful scent. Absolutely love it. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's just a really, really gorgeous scent. So guys, Charlie Red, it's available online at a whole bunch of places. I would definitely do some research, see where the cheapest place is for you to buy. It is Amazon, but I'm not trying to push anything on you guys. Um, guys, they Charlie has been around for a really long time. I have the original Charlie, Charlie White. They also have Charlie Gold, Charlie Blue. Um, I'm going to be trying to pick up those two as well because I really like 
the Charlie line. It is made by Revlon and they are all super, super affordable. So if you're looking for a great gift for maybe a birthday, Mother's Day, graduation, whatever, I would definitely recommend um, doing a little bit of research and see where you can pick up Charlie Red. It is an awesome scent, very spring and summer, just so beautiful. So that is my two cents on this nostalgic fragrance and I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I picked it up. So, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys share this video. It doesn't only help me out, but it also helps get the word out on very affordable products. I know there's a lot of people out there that love perfume, but it gets very expensive. So if you can pick up a perfume for under $5.50 for a huge bottle, why wouldn't you, right? great great scent um also make sure that you leave a comment down below what is your favorite um like old timey nostalgic fragrance is it like the what is it the baby love or baby soft there's all sorts of um very nostalgic fragrances um so yeah let me know down below what is your favorite all-time nostalgic fragrance i'm dying to know down below please um also make sure that you follow me on my other social media Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. I do um, cute cat pictures. I also do daily makeup looks. I also do sneak peeks and also a lot of other fun stuff. So you'll make sure you make sure that you follow me on my other social media. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. It's going to be a good one. So make sure you come back for that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon or via Super Chat during my live streams. My link for Patreon is in the description below.